2015, what was so nice was that it was held at home. The 4x200 freestyle relay, that is one of the races that I will not ever forget because I remember I was going last for that relay and we were behind Thailand for a little bit. I think I almost started tearing up before <laughs> I had to jump in because I was excited, like I love relays, but at the same time I was also very nervous. I think I was talking myself through the race. I was like, okay, like focusing on underwater, like okay, you need to come up perfect, have a good breakout. You know, I tell myself things like, okay, okay, all your people are looking at you, you need to do them proud, like just keep swimming. <laughs> like, don't think about the pain. Qua <laughs> Tang Wan is going to do it for Singapore. Singapore goal. It's very emotional. On the podium, when we were getting our medals and the national anthem stopped. But then, you know, instead of people just like looking at each other and not knowing what to do, everyone kind of started singing. It's a feeling of everyone coming together and just bringing people together and like having everyone feel that oneness in that very same moment or in that time. And it was so perfect. I finished school in 2014 and I think for a long time I felt very lost and a little bit alone. And I think for a long time, I felt like I was not doing enough because there was no one else on this similar path. There wasn't someone that I could go to to ask for advice. That's how I felt about this whole transition from being a student athlete to a full-time athlete. It took me a long time to accept that, you know, my path is a little bit different from most people's. But then, you know, it came to a point where I knew that I had to either figure it out or just stop doing the sport if I wasn't going to be enjoying the process. And I think it helped that I had so much support and help from the people around me. I am very close to both my siblings. Most people would think that, you know, the very large age difference would cause us to not be that close, but we are. A lot of people try and compare us. I don't know why. I've always been very protective of my siblings and I think sometimes I need to hold myself back and remind myself that I'm not their parent but their sibling. We can all relate to one another and, and it's good most of the time but we also fight a lot. It's possible for a 24 year old to fight with a 16 year old. <laughs> I'm glad that I have them in this sport with me because like I said before it can be very lonely. You know I'm glad that I have two other people in the house to wake up at 4.45 every morning with me and suffer. <laughs>